Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Today I'm going to talk to you about tepid T syndrome. Then if you've ever had this horrible experience. Ugh. Ugh. It's an encounter with lukewarm tea. No one likes that. It's when you put your cup down half an hour ago rather than two minutes ago like you thought. Or when you pick up someone else's cup and actually it's, uh, it's from yesterday. It's, it's tepid T syndrome. It's horrible. No one likes hot, um, lukewarm tea. That's why you go to a coffee shop and there's a hot drinks menu and a cold drinks menu. There's not a lukewarm drinks menu. You know, you've got your lattes, your cappuccinos, your hot chocolates. You've got your iced teas and your smoothies and your freshly crush crushed orange juice. But you don't have lukewarm drinks available because it's not marketable because no one wants that. And as our passage says today, God doesn't want that either. We, we're reaching the end of the one year Bible. It's chapter um, three of Revelation. And verses 14 following, it's a letter that Jesus is dictating to John for the church in Laodicea. And he has this damning um, verdict on them. Verse 15, it says this, I know all the things you do, that you are neither hot nor cold. I wish that you were one or the other. But since you are like lukewarm water, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. A little later, he says in verse 19, be diligent and turn from your indifference. It's that indifference that God can't stand, that lukewarmity in our commitment to him. You know, he comes expecting us to be hot or else cold, but instead he finds us lukewarm. We're a bit meh about our discipleship. We're a bit, yeah, and God's like, are you with me? And we're like, yeah, unless something better comes along. You know, it's not helped that we live in a flaky society, in a, in a culture which has taught us that we're there to be entertained and we're consumers and if we don't like it then we can just opt out and that's fine, it's our choice, you know. And you know, are you with me? Yeah, you know, unless something better comes along, in which case we will just send a text five minutes before and say, you know, I'm not coming today, I'm actually going to this. It's very frustrating, isn't it? We all know that about our culture, but it, it's infected us. We've got tepid D syndrome. We're lukewarm. Our yes doesn't really mean yes. It means maybe. And uh, we, we don't even have the courage to say no. We just say, oh, yeah, I'll let you know. Um, I'll get back to you. And then we never do um, because that's our culture. We're not very good at making and keeping commitments. And that is very frustrating in church work as you see to build the kingdom, build for eternity because the bricks keep crumbling. And it's very frustrating for us in our in terms of attraction for our own discipleship. We say, why, why am I struggling to get anywhere? It's because we're not really saying yes. We're not really giving our all. Our all. We're not in 100%. We've got a little disclaimer in there, some small print, a prenuptial agreement in our discipleship that gives us an opt-out clause. And that makes it very hard for God to build with us. And so the danger is that God will spit us out of his mouth. So the challenge today is to, do, to look at our lives and say, where am I lukewarm in my commitment to Jesus? Where is my yes actually a maybe? Where have I become a maybe man or a perhaps person? And, and how can I be 100% for God? How can I go all in with Jesus? How can I be hotter for him um, rather than lukewarm and tepid?